What are circuits and networks? First, let's understand circuits. Consider a bus. Starting from point A, the bus travels along a particular route and returns to point A. We see that the bus travels along a closed path. Thus, we can say that the route is an example of a circuit as it forms a closed path. Now, let's understand networks. Consider another bus, which starts from point A. This bus travels along a route and reaches point B. but does not return to its starting point. We see that the bus travels along an unclosed path. Thus, we can say that the route is an example of a network as it forms an unclosed path. Now, let's consider a bulb and a battery. Let's connect the positive terminal of the battery to one end of the bulb, thus forming a system. As the other end of the bulb and the negative terminal of the battery are disconnected, so we can say that this system has an open path. Therefore, no current flows through the bulb and it does not glow. Thus, we can say that this system is a network. Now, consider the same bulb and battery arrangement. Let's connect the other end of the bulb and the negative terminal of the battery to form a closed path we see that current flows through the bulb and it glows. Thus, we can say that this system is a circuit. Here, both the configurations are electrical networks. But only the second configuration is an electrical circuit. Thus, a network is an interconnection of electrical elements connected in a closed or open path through which current may or may not flow. Whereas a circuit is an interconnection of electrical elements connected in a closed path through which current flows or tends to flow. In any electrical networks, a node is a point at which two or more circuit elements are connected. In this network, there are three nodes. Similarly, a branch is a single path which connects one node to another node. In this network, there are four branches. Note that all circuits can be classified as networks, but all networks cannot be classified as circuits. Related terms are